Hey guys, this is Glenn Foster with the University of North Alabama, and this is a video blog from my Honor Civic Forum. Throughout the semester, we had speakers come talk to us about civic engagement, which is the community coming together to be a collective source of change. We had a bunch of speakers come in and talk to us about ways to get involved in civic engagement and get involved with the community. Um, some of the organizations they talked about was were Red Cross, Big Brother, Big Sister, Rotary, Success by Six, The Healing Place, and United Way. Um, it was great getting to hear about all these ways that you can really get involved and just be a difference and make a change. And personally for me, the way to get involved is to donate my time to really go work with people, especially children. Uh, my main thing with this is coaching. Um, this semester I'm working with a 5th and 6th grade girls basketball team from Mars Hill and it's just it's extremely rewarding getting to be there and be with them and coaching them. I know I came in the second day of practice and had already learned their names and I said one of the little girl's names and she looked at me and she was just like you know my name and I was like of course you're my player I know your name and she just she got so excited knowing that I you know cared enough to actually know her name um, and then coming in and telling them that they're doing a good job that they're working hard it's just they get a big smile on their face and it makes you smile inside because they're so happy and they're so excited and it's just very rewarding to me and then it's very humbling to see them soaking in what I actually have to say and it makes me realize that I actually have to be a good person and be a role model, be a person that they can look up to because they do listen to me and they do soak in what I have to say. And um, So I try to tell them things that will stick with them the rest of their lives they can really use and just teach them more than basketball, teach them life lessons that they can carry away with them. And um, Part of that is I like to share my faith with them and that is Christianity and I believe that that is the one true religion you know, and I tell them that God has given them that talent, that they should use it for a purpose and play with passion and just really use what God has given them. And they also soak that in because they know that it's something that they can carry with them the rest of their lives and it really means something and it's more than just basketball. Um, this is my fifth team to coach and having coached so many girls, you know, all my ex-players, they actually play with my mom and I'll see them in town or I see them at a basketball game and they come up to me and they just give me a big hug and they say hey and you know I realize that I really have made a lifelong connection with them because they still love coming up to me and talking to me and they really pay, still listen to me and uh, I'll go practice with my mom every now and then and I'll say hey I used to use this move when I played and they'll listen to me and they'll try it themselves and you know, I can still teach them, and it's it's crazy that I have made that kind of a connection with them. Um, and I just, I love it. It's very rewarding. And, you know, you can just sometimes really change their days around if you see them in town and you talk to them and you say, hey, and um, they really realize that somebody that they care about, somebody that they look up to, has noticed them, does notice them, and they care enough to say hi to them. And it just, it can really just change their whole day because, you know, you've made them happy, and um, it's it's just all of it so rewarding to me. And um, I really can take all this ex these experiences and use it in my future because I hope to be a mom one day. And I just know these experiences with these girls, and I'll be able to use it later on with my own kids, with nieces or nephews that I may have. And I just love being able to do it and work with them, and in you know, coaching is not the only way that you can work with kids. You can always go do, like, Rotary or Big Brother Big Sisters. And um, in my high school, we had what's called Community Connections Mentors, and they signed us personally to one mentee, and um, I would go work with her and uh, let her pick out a game for us to play. And she just, she had fun playing with me and just really talking to me and having someone to talk to, and that was also very humbling and rewarding for me. And, I just, it made me fall in love with kids, and I really do love working with them, and I always will, and I just encourage anyone who doesn't know what they want to do with their volunteer hours, or 
uh, just to go work with kids because it just, it just changes your whole perspective on you know what you say, how you act around people, how you act around in the public. So.